the drum. Okay. So, what's one of our? What are some of our contraindications for shortwave diathermy? Pacemaker. Pacemaker is a huge one, right? Mm -hmm. Because we can actually, just like you, the microwaves mm -hmm. at the at the fast food place, they have all those signs up there that talk about don't get your. You know, there's a there's not a rubric separate rubric for it. Mm -hmm. um, any kind of metal implants. Metal implants, lots of adipose. It's not going to be effective. Mm -hmm. What's that? Pregnancy. Pregnancy. I probably don't want to microwave a pregnant woman. Anywhere. Anywhere. <laughs> I wouldn't microwave a woman anywhere that's mm -hmm. pregnant. And how do you ask? You say, "Are you pregnant?" Yeah. Yeah. Is there any chance that you could, any chance you that could, you could be. be pregnant? What else? The growing. Epithelial plates again. Okay. This is obesity. Obesity. That's how it comes? Can't get it won't, it it's just won't. not going to work. Yeah. yeah. It goes around the outside. It doesn't go in. Okay. So, I put up here on the board. All of these machines are pulsed, so they're not continuous. You don't get to choose. They're all pulsed. The depth of penetration in the book says three centimeters. They know that it. They did a study that. They were able to raise the temperature of skin of the tissue by four degrees at three centimeters deep, so it can penetrate a little bit different deeper than that. Um, so the way you look at it is the mean power in this machine when we turn it on will tell us what the average amount of power that's going through the person is. So if that mean power is between zero and five, you're going to assume that your result is non-thermal. Anything over five, up to you know most of most of the machines when they're trying to get heat, the mean power is going to be up in the 40s. Okay, so mean power up to 48, 50 is going to be thermal results. So when I look at this machine, when you guys come look at this machine with me, this one's kind of nice because it, it actually has choices over here, preset choices, where I can say it does dose one, two, and three. So if I push dose one, it comes up. It says my max is 150 watts, but my average is zero. So what's dose one going to be, thermal or non-thermal? Non-thermal non because my average wattage is zero which is a non-thermal. Okay, I go home. I pick dose two. My average watts now are 12. So that's thermal. 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 But it not, not real thermal, right. but some thermal. When I get all the way down here to four, my average watts is 48. So what's my result going to be? Thermal. So if I know what I want to do, um, and I, this this one came out 20 poles, 800 hertz. I didn't have to worry about all that stuff. It's telling me that it's set for a monode with a 14 centimeter head. So this is a monode with a 14 centimeter head. Um, at 20 minutes, I hit start. Boom! I'm going. I'm getting shortwave diathermy. So everything's. Thermal. Then you guys have pacemakers on, do you? No. Mm -mm. All right. So everything's thermal except for zero. Well, zero on that, to that clinical, than but I can, I can set it to be whatever I want. This one just gives me some choices. So there's preset, or you can set it. There, Is that what you're this, right. I can, I, I can do this um, with one of my preset dosages, and then I don't have to think too hard about it. If I know I want, if I know what my powers are doing, that's one choice. The other choice is I can go into clinical protocols, and then it shows me a little person. And it says, oh, I want to do, since I've already got it set for my thigh, I want to do a thigh. And it's going to suggest, what am I trying to do? Pain relief, increase blood flow, treat contractures, reduce muscle spasm. What, what should we try to do? Muscle spasm. Muscle spasm. Yeah, muscle spasm. Okay. Yeah. Oops. Oh, we missed that. I missed. I gotta go back. So it it suggested all of those.
and then I can just hit, it shows me the position and the electrode placement, and I hit start, and I'm cooking. And you can fill that through your pants? Or you can't fill I that? I will. I don't yet, but I will. Okay. I'm not done cooking yet. So you actually fill the heat from that one, though? <laughs> Microwave. And this one doesn't matter if it's, they have it's clothing right on. There, that, where it says average, average, yeah. average and mean pockets, are basically the same. I do not have any metal. I do not have any coins in this pocket. So if someone in the area has a pacemaker, yes, how it far says does this go? Like, it says that if you're pregnant and you're the operator, uh -huh. that you need to be at least 0.2 meters away, which is a foot My or foot. so. You wouldn't want to be right on top of it, so. I would want to be more than a couple of feet away. So you can do this through clothing? Yep. I, I usually want to just have one very thin layer between the person and the head because I don't want that plastic head resting on you because then it'll start to sweat. Okay, yucky. So it's electromagnetic. Um, so it's not radiation, radiation. Oh, so the, the type of heat. Has. It's going to be what's ultrasound? Well, you have the gel stuff, DP. So you're need conversion. Conversion. Oh, yeah, conversion. So yeah, I can start feeling conversion. it get warm. So I just put a very thin layer of something between. So I could do it through a person's T-shirt. Um, if I am female, I do not want to be doing it around their chest if they've got on, like, underwire bras or metal clasps on the back of their bra. So I wouldn't want to do, like, a shoulder of a woman with an underwire bra. Is there space between your leg and that? I can touch it up against me. It's just... With the head. Yeah. If I use the coils, I'll usually lay a towel down and then lay the coils on the towel. So is it supposed to be up against you? I would. I would put it up. Just push it right up there against where I want. But this would be... This is. These are good for, like, shoulders, you know, because then it's getting in and around and it's penetrating. Okay, so... So that was the next thing. So this has got one, two, three, four places of adjustment. So I can move it this way. I can loosen this, and I can move it this way. So if you have them I seated, can, you can definitely can reach your move shoulder. This, this way. I can move this this way. I can move this that way. So I can I can get just about any place I want with it. So I want to seat them comfortable. I can sit them, or I can put them on the bed, or. Yeah, probably. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's isn't that basically. Are you gonna do it around their uterus? Well, I mean, do you have any implants? IUD. I'm sorry. What was your question? It says complementary intrauterine contraceptive devices. So if you have like an an IUD. An IUD. You wouldn't do it for some kind of control. You would control. Well, if they're pelvic for some reason, if you're trying to adjust the pelvic bone. Well, it's just an interesting. But when they give you the precaution and the contraindications, then I'm like, well, why is that? You know, because that you don't think that you would, but the fact that it's a precaution, then you're like, what? Same reason you don't put metal in your microwave. Right. No, I mean, that makes sense to me, but then I'm like, aluminum? Why would I do that? Why would I do that there? But obviously, there's somebody that does. Go to sell I, I, yeah, me personally. I don't know if I would get that. Do marshmallows explode? Marshmallows they don't put really marshmallows. Should we put a marshmallow under that? That'd be cool. Legs explode. Well, I have a special. So, marshmallows just cook really. Do they really? Yeah, they just keep expanding. Do I've never put a marshmallow that. in there. No. I'm going to have to try right, They're so really nasty after how long? Just saying. Um, you can play with the short word diet for a minute, but the ultrasound is probably say. more important I mean, because, because like I said, you may go, you, you will not more. escape I your life as a PTA without doing like, an okay. ultrasound. Yeah. You may escape. I have never actually used a short-wide diathermy in the clinic. Um, 